well, but Stripe has received quite a lot of attention for being a Christian rock band. But I think a lot of people would like to know just how genuine are your beliefs? Are you using religion simply to sell yourself? Uh, not at all. Um, it's something very serious to us. We believe in it very much, and we feel that the whole world uh, can benefit from this wonderful message. We don't wish to push it on anyone or really, truthfully, speak of religion. We just wish to get to the point of Christianity, which is Christ. Uh, and we believe that a great music deserves a great message. So uh, we believe in it 1,000%. Uh, we're here to spread some good news worldwide. And for us, it's a very serious thing. So have you always felt strongly about the Christian faith, or is it quite a recent development? Well, you know, I always believed in it pretty much and kind of believed there was a God. But about three years ago, we really decided that we should take quite a stand for it. Uh, it doesn't seem like too many rock and roll bands to take stands for, uh, or take a stand for God. And, uh, you know, that's when we made the conscious decision uh, to devote all our time to that. Was, was, was this at the point when the band began to call itself Strife? Because before that you were called Rock's Regime, weren't you? Right. Uh, actually, we just made this decision to do what we do now and then rename the band Striper. So what about Rock's Regime? Was that a Christian or orientated band? as well, or just a general rock and roll band? Pretty much a general rock and roll band. We look pretty much as we do now. We played, you know, the same type of music, and everything was yellow and black striped. It wasn't, you know, that we were this terrible, opposite, evil type of band or anything. We just weren't uh, being quite so open and really sp spreading the, the message that we are today through our music. So when Striper play live, do you only get Christian people going to the show, or are there others there for the music rather than just the message? To be quite honest with you, I find that most of the audience now is a non-Christian audience. People are, are coming to the shows because they want to hear the music, they, they want to see the show, they want to be entertained, and uh, there are Christians out there. I mean, the audience is pretty, uh, pretty much different. There's so many different people in a striper audience, young, old, Christian, non-Christian, people who love rock and roll, people who don't. But that's, we're very excited about that. Uh, there's been this misconception where a lot of people feel that Striper just wants a Christian audience. That is not true at all. We hope that everyone who comes to a Striper show who isn't a Christian is able to benefit from the one we sing about. So no, you'll, you'll look out and you'll see the same kids who go to see, say, Iron Maiden or Motley Crue or Ronnie James Dio, you'll see him at a Striper show also. Well, that's interesting. We should mention at this point that you have your second full album called To Hell With The Devil just about to be released. Yes. Now, I think the message on the record is fairly much the same as on previous Striper records, but it's a bit more subtle, a bit less blatant this time, I think, in what you're saying. Well, I, I would term it as a more universal record. Um, the underlying philosophy of all the songs points upward. Uh, I don't think we'll ever really stray away from the message that we that we sing about. But we've realized and, and really did realize from the very beginning that you don't have to say Jesus ten times in every song to get the point across. If you're a real songwriter, if you're a real band and you're talented, you'll be able to write songs that people can get into, yet that, that message is there. So I, I term it as a better produced, uh, more universal record and I I hope it does quite well. Yes, but on the, on the title track of the album, To Hell With The Devil Itself, mm -hmm. the message there is fairly clear, isn't it? Is that very, pretty very much the stripe of philosophy? Does, does very, that sum up very the band? clear. I think the devil is quite a bad guy. He's not this uh, red guy in a suit with horns and a pitchfork. He's uh, uh, the very neg negative, evil influence on the world today. The world would be a lot better place without him. And the Bible says someday there, he's going to a place called hell. And as, well, as far as we're concerned, he can go to hell. Okay, well, we'll talk more about that in a moment. Let's Great. take a break now and see Striper on stage, live in Japan, and this is First Love. And we've been talking about Striper as a rock band with a Christian message, but do you feel it's right to get up on a stage and preach to people? Well, I really wouldn't term it as preaching. I would term it as having courage enough to stand up for something which can do nothing but benefit the world and mankind. Uh, when you believe in something, 
I think you should you should go for it. And uh, it's just notifying people of the fact and the truth uh, that Jesus is alive and he's real. So I wouldn't really term it as preaching, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I mean, whatever type of message you have, it's basically a preach type thing. I mean, let's say a band's motto is sex and drugs, and every song is sex and drugs. That's, That's basically a preaching about, yeah. sex and drugs. Yeah. So uh, we know that no one has to accept this message if they don't want to. We're not here to force it on anyone. It's their choice. But I term stripers like a like a big sign, you know, it, their message is there, it's very out in the front, and if uh, through your own decision you wish to do that, then wonderful. But it's not forced on anybody. But when you're talking about religion, you're really talking about a whole way of life. So apart from asking people to accept God, you're also saying don't, don't drink, don't take drugs, those sort of things. Well, there's a certain, that certain word religion, I do not really feel applies to Striper because, see, you can be a very religious person and not be a Christian. And the emphasis of Christianity is Christ, Christianity. So we don't really try to veer someone towards religion, say to go to a particular church or don't do this or don't go to this church. We just hope to get to the main emphasis of it. Jesus point people in his direction where he can lay on their hearts exactly, say what church to go to or uh, what to do. That, that's the main point of it all. It's not religion anity, it's Christian anity. Right. But, but going right back to the days of, say, Elvis Presley, rock and roll has been a fairly rebellious form of music. It's been not listening to your parents and not doing the sensible thing. Are you having quite a hard battle getting the, the message to be sensible and good and Christian across to people? I don't think so. I think when people look at Christianity as a truth and not this boring religious type of thing, and as long as there's good music with it, People are really beginning to listen. Deep down inside, everyone wants to hear something good. And I, for myself, I'm one who says, why does rock and roll have to be uh, negative? Or why does it have to be rebellious? I think it's a great music. And uh, I think there could be many good things done with it. Mm -hmm. So, no, I think people are listening. And I think deep inside, people want to hear a good, positive message. It is a lot more popular, though, isn't it, to have a, a bad guy image in rock bands and have a good guy image. There's a lot more black hats than white hats about, aren't there? Well, you know what? I think deep inside when people are watching a movie, they really don't want the bad guy to win. I think everyone is, is really wanting to see the good character come out on top. And I, I think if people out there have the bad guy image in rock and roll, the, pe the reason people really like them is because of their music. I think if everyone out there that had the bad boy image had terrible music and a ster terrible stage show, I don't think they do quite like they do, or as well as they do. I'm a firm believer in that people like and want something that's good versus something that's bad. Okay, so finally we should say, when are we going to see Striper coming over to play in Europe? Well, in the, in the music business sometimes things don't exactly happen on day yes, like I'm they well should, that, yes. but we're hoping we'll be able to come over in April of 1987. We have play, a, what, a headline tour of Europe? Is yes, that? headline tour of Europe. We've got to uh, go th on a big tour through the States and go to Japan and Canada and a few other places. But if all goes well, we'll be here in April of 87. And, and I know I can speak for the rest of the guys. We're really looking forward to it. Well, we look forward to seeing you, Robert. Great. Thanks for stopping by. And we can end with another track recorded live in Japan. And this is Soldiers Under Command. All right.